In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Xbox Game Pass games with PlayStation 4 controller. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. In this video, I'm going to give you easy to follow instructions on how to properly set up and use your DualShock controller to play games available on Xbox Game Pass. Keep in mind that this method is only going to work for PC, so unless you are using an adapter on a console, you will not be able to get this done. So. For this video, I'm going to be focusing on how to do it on PC. All that you need to get this process to work and use your DualShock or DualSense controller to play Xbox games is to download DS4 Windows. So as the name suggests, this is going to make it so your DualShock 4 controller works with Windows. You can get it on the official website at ds4-windows.com, click the option to download, and you will be able to get it to work. Whenever you download this, you just have to extract it in any folder on your computer and then run this executable file, ds4windows.exe. When you run this, you will have to install an additional driver so usually there will be a pop-up telling you that you need to download vgem bus download the drivers if you are prompted to do so and now you don't have to do anything else basically as long as you have a controller connected to your pc through a usb cable or wirelessly you just have to click the option to start sadly for this video i don't have a dualshock 4 available but if you do it will appear right here on the list Afterwards, you can go over to Profiles and the default one will be used for your controller. This should be good enough and as long as you run any games with DS4 Windows running on the background, you are good to go. If you want to spend time setting this up, you can click the option to make a new profile or duplicate the default one. So, for example, new profile, save, and then you will be able to choose the option to add it. Now, you can change all of the buttons assignment. So, you can change the bumpers, the triggers, the touchpad, and so on. You can bind it to specific actions related to your keyboard, mouse, scroll, and so on. I hope I was able to help you on how to play Xbox Game Pass games with PlayStation 4 controller. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.